Uh, this is Brooke Jolly with Hopper CRM. What I'm doing in this video is showing how to load leads directly into a Vici Dial Dollar for people that are not synchronizing it with CRM or when you're trying to load a list just directly into a, any Vici Dial system. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is come here to the welcome screen, click to go into administration, then to lists, then to load new leads. There you're going to hit browse, pick the file that you're trying to load, pick the list that you would like the file to go into, then choose the phone code override code of one for the United States. Click custom layout. Duplicate check by phone and all campaign lists if you wanted to check for any duplicate that's inside of this campaign. Then tell it postal code first for the lead time zone lookup and then hit submit. You're here, since we've picked custom, you can choose any of the fields that can be uploaded to with any of the fields from your CSV. So in this case our header is showing the names of the fields. So for the phone number, we're going to pick number, first name, first name, last name, last name. However, you can make these um, field titles be whatever you would like. Just make sure something that you know which field it's supposed to go into. If you're done, click OK to process, and it loads the leads. You can see in this case, the header row, of course, cannot be loaded. It doesn't have a real phone number. The second record here is showing it's a duplicate because it was already in the list but normally it will tell you how many were good and then how many of them failed and um, if you've got the phone number formatted incorrectly you'll normally want to remove all the, all the um, hyphens or periods or any leading ones from the phone numbers um, you'll want to make sure that there's no like single quotes or anything that would disrupt a database system uh, but primarily the only things you have to look for is make sure that the phone code is formatted properly um, and also be very careful here to make sure that you do the one phone code override for the USA and pick the list that you want it to go into otherwise it's just going to go you know wherever but that's it um, if anybody has any questions you can feel free to send me a message um, either by email if you're one of my customers or even through the, the system here for YouTube just uh, I'll, I'll be happy to help anyone that needs help on it thank you